to welcome you to our session today on homeschooling in high school. I'm really excited for you to be able to hear about this experience from two perspectives. First, from our homeschool mom, Mandy Fox's perspective, and secondly, from Justin, who just recently graduated from their homeschool. So without further ado, let's bring Mandy and Justin to the screen so you can meet them and enjoy them like I have. Hi guys, thank you so much for being here with us. We, we really appreciate it. So Mandy, before we start, I'm gonna brag on you just a little bit um, because I just love you and I've grown to love Justin in the short time I've known him. Uh, <laughs> Mandy is a veteran homeschool mom. She's also a Homeworks by Precept consultant, which means in spite of her busy signal, she is a schedule, she's really committed to encouraging and helping homeschool moms. So if you find yourself on the precipice of not knowing whether you feel like you can homeschool in high school, Mandy's the gal for you. Um, she's very busy. She's a pastor's wife. She works as a nurse. She's an RN. And she's, or like I say, she's one of our consultants. And she homeschools in high school. So Justin, Mandy has three kids. Justin is her second to graduate. And um, so Mandy, let me just welcome you again and thank you for being here and ask you, I know you started homeschooling in 2009. Could you just tell us a little bit about your story? Sure. So we, um, my husband and I, even before we had kids, had prayed about the fact that we would never ever, um, we had personally decided we didn't want our children ever to be in a public school um, getting that uh, worldly education. And so um, when we first started having kids and they grew up to be old enough to go to school, we sent them to a private Christian school. And then we found out that it got to be a little bit expensive to do that. And so um, I knew then that it was time to pull them out and start homeschooling. And I had looked at different curriculum, but I knew that what I wanted, I wanted something that was very biblically based. It was a colorful curriculum and I needed something that would help me since I was busy working. And so I picked the BJU Press homeschool materials because they had the DVDs and that was perfect. Um, their teachers were awesome. My kids all learned uh, a ton from them. And um, it was just so helpful to have the assistance of of those video lessons um, with their teachers um, while I was so busy working. I knew I had three different grades and that was going to be difficult to do. So, <laughs> well, so let me ask you this after homeschooling during the elementary school years, what was it that um, propelled you or compelled you to continue homeschooling in high school? Well, um, one of the biggest things is I knew that my children were still forming their worldview. Um, they really do. They've done research. They've shown that they're forming their worldview all the way up in through, through college. So I knew that I still wanted to have that good Christian curriculum. And, um, and I, I actually uh, looked around and I found a good resource for, for us. And we use the Academy of Home Education. Um, they were a very good resource for us because they were able to keep track of my transcript for me. And as far as like credits and stuff and, uh, and my grading and all that, they took care of all that for me. And, and so, you know, I utilized my resources and then I knew that I would be able to do this through high school. So so let me ask you this while we're talking about the academy of home education can you tell our um, moms out there who may be interested how they can find more information on the academy for home education well i would suggest first of all please look at our map because our map has um, all the different states have consultants that are more than willing to help you and so I feel like your first stop should be at your consultant, ask them millions of questions about it, and they should be able to help you. Also as a resource, if you go to the bjupresshomeschool.com site and scroll all the way down, there is an AET section that, has, um, that you can click on and there will be lots of facts there that can answer a lot of your questions. That's so, great. And, and let yeah. me just clarify this. If you want to find the consultant on the map, it's homeschoolhelp.com slash map homeschoolhelp.com slash map and then you'll scroll down to the um the map of the united states and click on your state and find a consultant there and uh, it really i would say that our consultants 
are just invaluable every step of the way you're homeschooling. But once you get to the high school years, especially, you're so much involved that the consultants will really um, be able to help you with a lot of different things. Yes. So, Justin, thank you so much for being here with us. So tell us a little bit about homeschooling in high school from your perspective. I mean, did you like your teacher? <laughs> I dare you to say no. <laughs> well, we're not going to get into that. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> no, um, you know, high school is always a daunting task. You know, it, it, it has its challenges. It's just definitely a step up from elementary. Um, but uh, overall, when, when you really look at it, it's just a lot more – you got to stress the right things. You know, there are, there are certain things that you have to de that you have to stop stressing because there's so much to do. So um, there's just certain things once again that you got to find where your strengths are. You got to really point point to all those things. Really work on them. Obviously, I I love science, so that was one thing that I found a lot of that would be more or less school time, more fun for me. So right. I would spend a little bit more time in that. So, but that, once again, yeah, that's just, you got to learn to manage your time a little better. <laughs> yes, that's great. It is a lot about time management. I know that was important as your mom was working some. And, but we've talked to a lot, I've talked to a lot of college admissions personnel. And, you know, that's actually one of the things they're so impressed with about homeschool students is their time management abilities. And so I, I think that's a real gift. So, Justin, you only have to spend a five, about five minutes with you to know that socialization has not been an issue. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about your life outside the classroom. Okay. Well, uh, just it, it, right when I got into high school, uh, I was a big sports competitor. I really love sports. Uh, basketball is my main one. I've dabbled in a couple others, but I've never really been on a competitive team. Um, it was only basketball where I actually got into the competitive side of things. So that's mainly what took up my life until I start, got my license and got a job. And then I'm a landscaper here in Springfield. So I've been doing that for a while. So that that's mainly what takes up most of my time now. So <laughs> well, that's great. So, uh, But ultimately, both of those the socialization goes have been excellent. I mean, basketball is an excellent place to learn because you don't, there are a lot of kids there and you don't always get along the best with all of them. Right. So you learn to, uh, you learn to get along with just about everybody through that. Also through the competitive nature, you know, you just, you have that one link that bonds you just a quick plug for sports. I highly recommend it. If you can do it, obviously <laughs> you learn so much from it. It's excellent. And then as far as, as far as work goes, once again, another great socialization, I mean, a lot. And it's also a good thing as a Christian, I think, to get in there because I've had so many opportunities to witness. And some of the time, sometimes that's the best way to learn how to socialize, especially. Hey, as a Christian. Hey, hey, yeah. Man. Yeah. So you I've done that quite a bit. And uh, ultimately, I feel like that's really prepared me to talk to just about anybody, because in a work scenario, I have hit all sorts of responses to the gospel. So it learns you to deal with it. It, learned, it taught me how to deal with people that were hostile towards me people that were complacent and people that were receptive. So ultimately that, that was just worked wonders for my socialization. <laughs> well, boy, that's music for our ears as parents to hear about your love for the Lord and how that's remained intact. And I know so much of that is the influence of your parents and also just a curriculum that as Mandy was saying, supports your biblical worldview. I know you're real involved in your church. So, boy, it is great to hear that. So tell us, I know you're interested in science, but tell us what your plans are this coming year as a new graduate. Okay, so this coming year, uh, I plan to attend the Evangelical Institute down there in Greenville, South Carolina. Um, it is basically just an intensive discipleship two-year program. Uh, so it'll just be two years. They take a um, it's a tri-semester. You work on, they have several courses on prayer. Um, they also study certain books of the Bible. They also do like just overviews of the Bible in general. So it's really just an intensive time to really set aside life for a couple of years and uh, really devote your time and your mind to godliness. So that is my current plan. That is great. Now, I've heard you say that you're interested in sports medicine. Oh, at yeah. some point in pursuing that, either that or the ministry. So tell us about that a little bit. Okay, well, I've always loved 
the sports side of things. I've loved the body ever since the human anatomy at uh, 10th grade biology. That just really instilled a love it for me. It was so much fun to go through that. And once again, especially with the muscles, I'm just fascinated with how much you can do with them, how different exercise can, can build up certain muscles. I've heard there's so many terms that go through, that come to mind. And uh, it's just, I think it would be so much fun to actually work with people and build them up because a lot of, and I, I enjoy people. So I like socialization and that is a great way. That is a great way to talk to people. That is a great way to get to know people because in exercise science, especially in the sports side of things, you often have to break people down to build them up. And yeah. that is the aspect that I'm, I just really would love to get into. So and that's, that's ultimately what draws my love for exercise science is that, that, that special relationship that you get with people because yeah. it's, it's, that's, it's an interesting experience. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's interesting. Um, after working at a conference with your mom, I could see that same love for the sciences in her and love for people. So it, it's really interesting to see the two of you together to see how, how that works. Oh, yeah. um, so Mandy, if you had any words of encouragement for moms out there who really want to homeschool, but are afraid they'll ruin their kids or they're not going to prepare them well enough, what would you say? I would say whatever God wants you to do, he enables you to do. Um, I feel like, you know, I, I was a nurse and so it wasn't like I didn't have teaching and such, but there were still subjects that I struggle in. You know, I struggled in English. I struggle in those kinds of things. Um, so you don't have to know it all to teach. Um, you just have to know the one who knows it all. And then he infuses you with the wisdom you need to infuse the wisdom into your children. And he will give you the direction. Um, like for me, it was it was a, a time saver to have those videos, um, those teachers who have actually, you know, learned their subject and they teach it very well. And so, you know, the Lord will just guide and direct your family into whatever path he wants you. And then, and believe it or not, you know, you can just leave it in his hands. He will take care of you. So that, that is the truth. I can remember when we started homeschooling in high school, it was back in the early nineties. And the Lord really provided supernaturally for us a couple of teachers outside the home that we needed. This was before the internet and online classes and those types of things. So, so God is really gracious. Justin, let me ask you one more question. Go so ahead. how do you think homeschooling has helped to prepare you for your next phases in life? Okay. Well, obviously I would just kind of repeat what mom said, the biblical basis I mean, that's foundational for everything. You know, and that, that's the main problem with the public school is they remove the basis of all knowledge, the Bible and God. So ultimately, that was invaluable. But uh, a second to that would be just they were it was such good curriculum for focusing not on just learning the subject at hand, but also learning to confront problems and solve them. It taught me so much that, you know, some you got to analyze the problem ultimately, because some problems you have to confront head on and some problems you have to maybe, you know, sneak around the corner and try to find an easier way. So I felt like the curriculum, once again, just really helped me with my problem solving ability, which ultimately will help me in anything that I do in life. So. Yeah, that is so powerful. And listen, I, before we close, let me just, um, for those of you um, who are watching this and would like information on the consultants, or the Academy for Homeschool Ed for Home Education, or the BJE Press Homeschool Curriculum, go to homeschoolhelp.com slash map, and you'll find a map of the consultants where you can find anything you need to know um, when, you, when you click on that map to find your consultant. They can help you with anything you need to know regarding homeschooling in elementary school or high school or uh, how to use the curriculum, those types of things. And Mandy and Justin, I want to thank you both so much for being here. You're just, your joy um, together, your joy in your family and in the Lord is just a real testimony to the rest of us. So thank y'all so much for being here. Thank you. Yes. <laughs>